Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 19 squad builder on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you the best possible skill squad on FIFA 19. Now, this isn't rating-wise, this is just my opinion, and some of the cards, you know, who I think will be the best 5-star skillers. And this also has 7 5-star skillers in the team, what's absolutely crazy, and it does contain some icons, some really high-rated skillers, and also one or two low-rated cards just for chemistry, and because they are five star skillers so again we're going to be starting off in the goalkeeper position and we're going to go with the one and only david de gea now david de gea is always one of the best keepers and every year um he just is the best he usually is the best keeper on the game especially the past two fifas i really don't think anyone's been on the same level as him so you know 90 diving 94 reflexes 85 handling 58 speed 87 kicking and 88 positioning so just an all-round absolutely insane card there for de gea once again so we're moving over to the first First centre back position, we do have the one and only Maldini. Now he is one of the best centre backs on the game. I think the only bad thing about him is he's a bit short at six foot one. Well, isn't really the shortest, but um, a lot of people do like you know six three, six five defenders. But he's still very, very good, and especially in a three at the back formation. I really don't think will make too much of a difference. So as you can see, those in-game stats are just absolutely insane. Um, got some crazy, crazy pace. Really good defending and really good physical. Also has a four-star weak foot as well. So just all around a very, very good card. And then after that, the next player we have in this team is Rio Ferdinand. Last year, Ferdinand was pretty good. Not the best of players, but not the worst either. Um, he's got 83 pace, 91 defending, and 86 physical. So all around just a very, very nice card. And then the final centre-back we do have is Desailly. Um, from the French nation and as you can see he's got 83 pace 90 defending and 90 physical and this card is always very very good in every FIFA I've used him he's just been absolutely insane he's just an all-round great defender and just really good in a three at the back formation and then moving into the first five star skiller in this team we do have Bernadeschi now he's the lowest rated player in this team and the main reason is is just because he links with this next man who is Cristiano Ronaldo um, just an absolutely insane card once again this year always going to be one of the best skillers on the game with that really nice strength insane shooting insane passing and also insane dribbling at 90 and also his passing isn't too bad at 81 um look at those in-game stats just absolutely insane the only thing that sort of lets him down is potentially his balance at 70 but apart from that he's got the five star skill moves the five star weak foot an absolutely crazy card there for cristiano ronaldo and he has that 94 finishing as well so this card can finish anywhere on the pitch and then after that, in the next sentiment position, we do have one of the greatest of all times, and that is Pele. Now, of course, I never got to watch him because I'm too young, but I've heard he was one of the best players, if not the best player of all time. So as expected, looking at this guy's in-game stats, he's got absolutely insane stats, just all-round 90s, apart from the physical and defending. 96 dribbling, 93 passing, 96 shooting, along with 95 pace. Also got really good acceleration and really good sprint speed, the perfect balance there. Insane finishing amazing long shots at 94 i don't actually think i use this pele card on fifa 18 or maybe for a few loan games so i'm hoping this year that i will be able to buy this card and then moving over to the left mid position we have my favorite player of all time and that is ronaldinho he's got a 94 rated card again this fifa was just absolutely insane as his prime icon he's got 94 acceleration 91 sprint speed 94 agility and then insane long shots at 89 and 86 shot power again he's got the five Five star skill moves as you would expect and a four star weak foot now i really 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 want to get my hands on this card um last year i said i was going to get his icon card but i just didn't have enough coins uh, but this year i'm definitely going to try and get this card because it'd be really cool to do like a scaling series around him or something like that because his card looks so so good and i'm hoping that is released pretty early i think last year he was released around the christmas time or just after um so hopefully he's released a slight bit earlier this fifa and then moving into the left forward position, we have my favourite current player, and that is Neymar. Now, he's got this really cool fancy card for the Champions League as well, but I probably will just use his normal card. And as you can see, he's got 92 pace, 95 dribbling, 84 shooting, 83 physical, 
sorry, 83 passing. The only thing that really lets him down is his 59 physical, but he does have 81 stamina, what's pretty good, and he has that 5-star combo, what is so, so important on FIFA. 96 agility, and this guy's team of the season card was the most agile player I've ever used on any FIFA, um, so I'd definitely recommend to use that card on FIFA 18 if you haven't already. Decent long shots, really nice finishing, especially with that 5-star weak foot, you know, he'll basically be able to finish anywhere from inside the box. Really good pace and insane just dribbling stats as you would expect from Neymar. And then moving into the striker position, we have R9 Ronaldo. Now this guy again, last year he was one of my favourite 5-star skillers. When he used him at the start of the game with his loan card, he was just so, so good. I scored some absolutely insane goals with him. So I'm hoping that he's just as good this FIFA. And I've actually heard from people who've already played the game that this card is even better, you know, especially with all the new um, skill moves and at the active touch system. So looking at this guy's card now, as you can see, 98 finishing, what is just absolutely insane like this guy's going to be one of the best strikers if not the best striker or if not the best player on the whole game with that 98 finishing you know the five star skill moves the five star weak foot insane strength insane dribbling nice passing insane pace you know you just put all those things together and you have an absolute tank um on your hands and you know just just an all-round incredible card and then moving into the final play in this team, we have Juan Cudrado from Juventus to get the link to Ronaldo and also Bernadeschi. And again, Cudrado is one of those skillers who always seems to be very good on FIFA. I'm hoping that this guy also gets a right back in form card this FIFA, so you can link him up very nicely to Bernadeschi. But anyway guys, this is the final squad builder. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more squad builders like this on my channel, leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.